All right, stop what you're doing. If you're watching this video in the first 48 hours after it's been published, you can get $60 in free credit towards the use of Finn. Link down in the description below. To claim your $60 in free money that you can use towards Finn, the high quality personal assistant service that's unlike any other. All right, now that you have your $60 in free Finn credit, let's talk about all the amazing things you can do with Finn to offload some of your tasks, to clear your mind, and to get a little assistance getting things done. What is going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of gearlife.com. If this is your first time here, this channel is all about tech, gadgets, and gaming. So if you're into that kind of stuff, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below along with the bell notification icon so you don't miss any future videos. As I mentioned today, we are talking about Finn. If you've never heard of Finn, Finn is a high quality personal assistant service. An easy way to think about Finn is that it's a cloud assistant that's powered by both machines and humans. Now, because of that mix, Finn goes far beyond the reach of what something like Siri or Alexa can do on the machine side, but it also gives you higher quality results than you typically get from something like a human virtual assistant. Now, I've personally been a Finn member for about a year, and they recently reached out and asked if I wanted to collaborate on a video. So big shout out to Finn for sponsoring this video. Now, a lot of people out there feel their lives are a little too busy, a little too hectic. And as someone who runs my own company with a lot of moving parts, I found that being able to delegate some of those smaller tasks, things that need to get done, but that don't necessarily need me to do them, allows me to focus more on the bigger things and the things that I actually do have to take care of myself. In a nutshell, Finn is changing how I do work and manages to give busy people like me their time back. You can talk with Finn using the iOS app, email, text message, the Finn website, and even your personal Finn phone number. You only pay Finn for the time used, which makes it a lot cheaper than hiring an assistant to do these things for you. So today I wanted to give you some examples of how you can use that $60 credit that you just picked up at the beginning of this video to help Finn bring some order to your life. First up, there is research. For someone like me who does these videos and has a bunch of products coming in and out and trying to make videos on a lot of competing devices, I'm able to use Finn to get notes and comparison data that I can use when doing a comparison video. I can send in a request that says, Apple just announced a new iPhone XS and iPhone XR. I wanna do a video telling my viewers what's different and what's the same between the two so please send me a thorough list, simple. Or maybe I'm looking to do a video on a piece of retro tech and I can say to Finn, find me the best price on the T-Mobile G1 that was the first Android phone released 10 years ago. And if you could find it anywhere for under $85, order it and charge my business credit card. But Finn doesn't have to just be about work. It can also help you in the personal side of your life as well. For example, you can ask Finn to log into your Spotify account, take a look at your favorite artists and see if any of your favorite artists have concerts coming up within 20 miles from your home within the next three months. A lot of these research tasks where you have to pull up Google and start going down a rabbit hole are things that can usually take me a lot of time because I'll be looking one thing up and then I'll get interested in something else and kind of go over there, forget what I was doing over there. With Finn, I can just send them the task and then once it's done, I get the information. Now, all of those were one-off tasks. Let's talk about recurring tasks for a moment. There are things that we do in life on a fairly regular basis or that we should be doing on a regular basis, but don't do because we forget. So for example, as you guys know, I got the Tesla Model 3 here. I have more videos coming on that car, but one thing Finn is helping me with is scheduling tire rotations every six months. So I said to Finn, find me a free tire rotation place, tell me where it is and book me an appointment every six months, but make sure the appointment is not on a Monday or a Friday. That's a recurring task. I'd probably forget about it. Now that I've offloaded it to Finn, it'll be handled. Going back to business here on YouTube, I like to keep an eye on my stats and how the channel's doing on a whole. I've asked Finn to run a traffic report each week and compare it to the watch time and views from the previous week, indicating the percentage change plus or minus for the current week. Again, that's a recurring task that I could take care of myself, but I'd have to take the time each and every week to dive in, do it, do the calculations. But now Finn can take care of all of it and just send me a final report. Let's move on to booking travel. If you're a mobile entrepreneur on the go, travel booking is something you typically need to take care of if you don't have an assistant or secretary doing it for you. I'm someone who does not have an assistant or secretary. So typically for travel plans, I have to do it myself. I'm actually gonna be in Vid Summit in a couple of weeks and it just occurred to me the other day I booked my Vid Summit ticket about four months ago. 
I booked my Vid Summit hotel four months ago, and then someone just asked me the other day, when are you flying in for Vid Summit? Now, I knew when I was flying in, and I told them I'd be there on Monday. However, then it occurred to me, wait a minute, when do I, when do I actually land? And I just realized I never booked a flight. So if someone didn't ask me that question, when it was time to go to Vid Summit, I would've went to the airport and then quickly realized, wait a minute, I don't have a flight to get to LA. Now, if I'd been using Finn at the time, I could've simply said, hey Finn, I'm going to Vid Summit, buy my ticket, book me at this hotel, and book my plane ticket. And the cool thing about Finn is it also stores your preferences. So let's just say I like to be in a hotel room that's near the elevator, on a high floor, and I always want a minimum of a queen size bed. And it also knows for air travel, I prefer comfort plus seating. I'd rather sit in the aisle. I do not want a middle seat. And it has all my loyalty reward numbers as well. So rather than me having to take care of all of that, I can just send a few sentences to Finn and know that it's handled. One other thing Finn's helping me do is clear out some of the clutter that constantly amasses here in the Gear Live HQ. I get a bunch of gadgets in, I buy a bunch of stuff, I review things, I make videos, and then things kind of just sit around. I don't like buying things and returning them. I think that's a little bit unethical. So I just buy things, use them, make videos, and then my plan is typically to sell them on Craigslist or put them on eBay. But again, as someone who's busy, I typically forget or just overlook doing those tasks and things just end up sitting around collecting dust and basically accumulating all over the place. But now I can just go around the house and make a quick list of things that I wanna sell, send those to Finn, ask them to list it in my local Craigslist and on eBay, and even ask them to do the research on the price range they think I can get for each item. Now I obviously still have to do the work of either packing things up to ship them or meeting someone to sell them something, but even that would never happen if I didn't get those gadgets listed in the first place. As a lot of people know, business isn't always just about business, it's also about entertaining and meeting people, and sometimes you need to find the right restaurant to grab a meal with a client or associate with, and Finn can do that as well. Finn can use your open table account and book reservations that way, but they can also take care of handling reservations to hard to get into places. For example, I have a business dinner coming up and I want it to take place at the Wolfgang Puck Test Kitchen in Hollywood. It's a pretty difficult place to get into. It's a restaurant that actually sells tickets, so you need to buy a ticket to go there on a specific day and time. And tickets go on sale at a precise time, noon every Monday, new tickets are released. Now, I'm typically busy at noon on Mondays, so I asked Finn to take care of it. I got a response saying they will log onto the website at 11.45 a.m., 15 minutes early, and the second noon hits, they will attempt to get the reservation for me. And I didn't even know there was drink pairings. They responded back and said, hey, we're gonna be there at 11.45, we'll get the reservation at noon. Do you want the $100 drink pairings as well? I don't drink, so I said no, but it was nice they asked. And finally, Finn can even attempt to save you some money. Whether it's at work or at home, we all have the things that we subscribe to, let's just say cable TV or our cell phone plans. These are things that have fluid pricing depending on when you sign up, how long you signed up for, et cetera. I actually used Finn and asked them to call my cable company and try to negotiate a better deal for me. It was a request that took me about 15 seconds to type out and send over. I gave Finn my account number and told them I'm with Comcast. About an hour later, I got a response back letting me know that for the same services I subscribe to now, my bill starting next month will be lowered by $27 per month. And if saving money on a monthly basis doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. So there you have it. That was your look at Finn, not just a virtual assistant, but a machine and human powered, high quality personal assistant service. If you want to give Finn a try, don't forget $60 in free Finn credit. You can get it right now. If you're watching this in the first 48 hours of this video going live, hit the link down in the description below right now. And also feel free to share that link with friends and family. So for example, if you're married, you both get 60 bucks for free. Now I wanna hear from you guys. How will you use the $60 in free Finn credit to allow Finn to help make your life easier to manage? Let me know down in the comments below. I'll meet you there for further discussion. Don't forget, we now have channel memberships live and active giving you guys access to early videos, custom badges, custom emojis, hot tech deals, and more. If you wanna join a tech squad, there will be a link in the description below for that 
as well. If you enjoyed this one, please do drop a like on this video and don't forget you can always click or tap on my face when it appears here at the bottom of the screen. That will allow you to subscribe for free to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks again so much. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Webers and I will catch you in the next video.